I was a kid. No parents, no home. Running messages and picking pockets to keep my ribs from meeting my spine. One night I saw a man. Folks just passed him by like he wasn't there. I thought he must have something valuable, so I snuck up on him and made a grab. That's not for you. Please, sir, I'm hungry. Don't tell the hammers, I promise. What is your name, boy? Garrett. You have talent, lad. Let go of me, old man! To see a keeper is not an easy thing. Especially one who does not wish to be seen. We have a need for those as gifted as yourself. If you've grown tired of how you live, then follow me, and we will show you a different way. Leave me alone! As you wish. I caught up with him just before he vanished into the crowd. It was the beginning of a very long education. Welcome, young Garrett. In the nearby rooms, I will... will instruct you in the various skills you will need to survive. Please stay in the entrance area to each room while I explain the room's purpose. When you are ready to begin your lessons, proceed down this hallway to the first room. You must learn how to move unseen. Stay in the shadows. Avoid the light. The indicator on your screen will tell you how visible you are. Try to reach the top of the platform without being seen. Well done. I did not see you approach. Open this door to continue. When the door is near the center of your screen, it will light up. indicating that it is selected. To manipulate selected doors and other objects, use them. Good. Proceed down this corridor for your next test. Now you must learn to move quietly. Some surfaces are louder than others when walked upon, and moving quickly makes more noise than moving slowly. Listen to your own footsteps to hear how much noise you are making. The instructor will have his back turned, you must get to the top of the platform without being heard. Very good. I did not hear you traverse the room. Beyond this door is a hallway that will lead you to your next task. Now get your weapons. To pick up objects, select them by centering them on screen until they light up. Then use them. Choose your weapon now. Try readying your sword and then your bow. You can always put them away again if you need your hands free. Now let's go out to the courtyard for some target practice. Ready your bow. Knock an arrow and draw back the string by holding down the attack button. Make sure you draw all the way back, or your shot will not have full power. Take aim, and when you are ready to shoot, release your attack. See if you can hit one of these targets. Good shot. Keep practicing if you wish. When you are ready to proceed, approach the training dummy and ready your sword. Swing at the target with the attack button. A quick tap will give you a slash. Move the tip of your sword to the left of the target for a left slash, and to the right of the target for a right slash. Hold the attack button down, then release for an overhead swing. 
Try both slashes and the overhead swing on the practice dummy. Good job. You're ready for a live opponent. To practice against your partner, enter the cobbled sparring area. are done, leave the sparring area. That's enough sparring for today. Please walk over to the table. Would you care for some refreshment before we move on, young Garrett? Please pick up all of the items on this table. Cycle through your inventory to see the objects you have in your pockets. Once an object is displayed, you may use it. Have something to eat if you wish. Then you may proceed. The next test is waiting on the other side of the metal door. Good. Now head down this hallway to get to your next test. Now you will learn new movement skills. First, climb the rope by jumping onto it. Move while looking up or down to climb up or down the rope. Turn to change your facing. If you jump again, you will release the rope. Now climb the rope to get to the top of the platform. Well done. Run and jump across the gap to the other side of the stream. Good jump. This obstacle is easy to climb, if you know how. First, move close to the wall. Next, jump to grab the edge of the wall and pull yourself up. Good job. I am most pleased with your progress. You have passed the last test for today. If you wish, you may stay to practice your climbing and jumping, or swimming, ducking, leaning, or crawling. When you are finished, you may return to your chambers by going through that red the door. The keepers were training me Farewell. to be one of them, but I found other uses for those skills. I have a simple job planned for this evening. Break into a guarded mansion, steal another fat nobleman's priceless trinket, and leave quietly. Lord Bafford is out of town, and rumor has it that the captain of his house guard went with him as a bodyguard. The time is ripe for a bit of burglary. The front gate of Lord Bafford's manor is always guarded, and the main street is far too exposed. But Cuddy tells me there's a better way in, around to the side, more out of the way. One guard, and likely no witnesses to complicate matters. The piece Cuddy wants is a scepter, silver, jewels, the usual adornments. It should command a high price. Bafford, like most of his kind, probably keeps his treasures on the top floor of the place, close to his heart, and far from his servants. No point in waiting. I have Cuddy's old sketches of the place and everyone who's going to be asleep inside already is. It's time to begin.
How's it going? Inside at last. I've been thinking. The sir could really beef up security, so. What do you mean? What's wrong with us? Well, we're fine. But I've been thinking we should watch the outsides more. That's stupid. People don't worry about there on the inside. No, then you catch them before they get inside, you taffer.
Since I'm in here, I might as well pick up something for myself. You're dead!
Man, pal! Hi, 
Fighting won't save you, thief! if he reads them or if it's just for show. can you get? to Cuddy's place to deliver the scepter, but Cuddy wasn't there. He'd been arrested by the Hammerites. 
Apparently they didn't approve of his occupation, and I doubt they approve of mine. So hopefully they'll never catch sight of me when I break him out of their prison. Which is what I'm going to do. They're holding Cuddy in a mining complex carved out of a quarry. The quarry's flooded, but the hammers still work the top-level mines and have converted part of the complex into a penitentiary for those who violate their tenants. An associate of mine was confined there and has provided me with a map. It would be difficult to get in by way of the main gate, but there is another option. The mines break the surface of a hill south of the quarry. I'll drop into the mines and head for the prison, which will be found somewhere uphill and to the north. The hammers don't venture into these lower mine levels because they're reputed to be haunted. I'd rather not have to do this job, but Cuddy's a reliable fence and I don't appreciate the hammerites abducting him. And he owes me money for the Bafford job.